the dinosaur is scary. The T Rex is scary. That T Rex has more uh, more forces on it than a 747. I think. Coming into the it's huge. Gary, Gary and I go back a long way, and, and you know that was originally Gary's concept too. I, I have to say. Yeah, the, uh, um, the the big moment was is that moment which we really worked on where. He's actually supposed to come through the waterfall. He did originally. I don't know if he still does. He, he, did it first. he probably did it once really, really good. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what we try and do? We try and take the expectations where we like, I like good magic When I know what they're expecting, you, you want to you then you know, surprise us. So the idea was you, you're focusing on the fall. You know you're going to go down. You're not focusing on something's going to come out of that waterfall. And that was the original gag. Right as it comes out of you, bang, you go down, right? Which I think is something we try and do all the time. I mean, you all know that when you design a haunted house. It's misdirection oh, every yeah. chance you can. Yeah, absolutely. So then going from big, scary dinosaurs, you recently had an attraction open in Korea. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, Dragons Go Go Wild? No, it, doesn't it's ask why. It's, oh my god, uh, the name is amazing, right? It's an <laughs> English translation of a Korean name, I think. Yeah. So going from big, scary dinosaurs to family-friendly dragons, how did you guys approach that? And no, you, you knew right away it was going to be a family-friendly attraction like that? Yeah, it was definitely a kid's attraction and a very short timeline. So um, we designed a whole new family of dragons. And it's, you know, one of the things that I think Gary was talking about, T2 3D, increasingly as I'm in this business, anytime you can blur the boundaries between one medium and another one, you can have 3D and physical sets. We did this in Spider-Man, I think, to really tremendous effect, where you don't know where the film starts, and the sets, and the of things. That's where the real magic happens, almost without question, you know. Um, because then, once you, once you break that reality, you can actually cheat in places, and the audience doesn't know it, because they've already released that suspension of disbelief to a level that's, that's pretty exciting. So, in this ride, we combined media and animatronic figures, being very careful to keep them stylistically, even the animation and the media, so that it didn't blur the lines, you know. There's too many attractions where there's an animatronic figure here, and then animation over here that's full motion and everything, and it's like, well, those are from two completely different worlds, so trying to keep a consistency of vision is really key to, to making the experience seamless. Well, it came out really great. It's a beautiful It's, it's a really sweet attraction. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.